Hello. What's up, man? Can you hear me? Yeah. How's it going, Ralph? It's going great, man. How you doing? Back to Alaska here live on the kill stream. How's it going, man? I'm going or I'm doing great. What's up, kill stream? How's it going? Uh, it's going good here, man. Now, what you been up to lately? Oh, I've been uh, been streaming. I've been streaming on Cozy.TV, the new platform, of course. Doing a lot of gaming streams and doing a little bit of IRL. I got a lot of court shit lately. So, <laughs> yeah, just uh, working on all that. Well, I know how that goes for sure. Uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> so there's a few different things we can talk about. First thing, um, <laughs> I guess, so um, the false flagging thing that I saw going around um, right. was pretty comical. And I knew it was bullshit because it, it was coming from, you know, fan fiction types already. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, okay, I'm already throwing some big doubt on it. But, of course, you know, they took it and ran with it and was like, oh, Bank's trying to flag down CWC. <laughs> which is pretty funny, I have to say, because that guy is a rat, and I and I actually, you know, tried to be cool yeah. with him and had him on the show, and even like tried to smooth some things. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, okay, can yeah. you know, can this be? Can we bridge the gap here? Whatever the answer was, no, because he kept doing snake shit. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that uh, the the narrative was that you somehow had something against him, or was like plotting well, against him. Or yeah, I, I mean that. I'll talk about it. I mean it's bullshit. Well, first of all, you know, CWC is literally go look at his telegram. He's literally doxing everyone's DMS. So (laughs) it's funny how they're like saying that I'm this report fag when I have not reported anyone. I didn't put out that message or anything. One of my mods, I have a big mod chat posted a message from another chat that said, Hey, fuck these guys report Kino casino and CWC, whatever, you know, I don't fucking read every fucking message. It wasn't me. I didn't post it. And I, I I did remove that mod. I know he's a good guy, but I'm like, Hey man, like, I don't really want this shit in my chat. I'm not trying to report people. So that's it. That's, that's all they have. And I removed the mod and then they want to say, Oh my gosh, baked is running a reporting rig. He's reporting all these right wing streamers. Holy shit. And it's like, they all, they just made that. At, they made that up out of their ass, straight like Dude, straight up. Honestly, I'm, I'm looking through his Telegram now. I didn't even see. Yeah, uh, half he, of this he's, stuff. He's I, doxed, he doxed a Paul Gosar intern. Look at that. One of Paul Gosar's intern, who who's like a groiper, he doxed him, and he's putting out people's personal DMs and group chats that he did not like have permission to post. So I'm just saying like, it's kind of, it's kind of like the pot calling the kettle black here. He like, I'm not, you notice I'm not show I'm not putting out private information about people. And I even reached out to CWC by the way. And I said, Hey man, I know we don't see eye to eye. You know, we've had a little beef, but I said, I would never report you like that. And I didn't tell anyone to report you. And I even removed that mod. Um, but you know, he just talked a bunch of bunch of bullshit. He didn't want to squash the beef, but you know, I'll, I'll be the bigger man, but yeah, definitely. I'm definitely not reporting. So anyone, I so. see this and they're like, Oh, he's, <laughs> First off, uh, I don't even know if this is true. But it makes me laugh. <laughs> Bank's been removed from IP2. First off, I you know, there's not much going on. Over, I mean, no offense to IP2 or yeah. anything. You know, it's seen well, better days <laughs> anyway. But uh, but I, like, oh, my God, uh, I've got spies everywhere. That's the type of shit he's saying over there. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like Spies everywhere, by the way. Like, he's, he's so like silly. leaking shit from, like, a shit posting group chat yeah. on Telegram and thinking this is, like, my plans to take down... You know, all these streamers when I like Ralph, if I'm being completely honest, I literally don't think about these guys. Like I have so much going on like my own of my own shit. I I don't think about them like for real, like Kino Casino, all those guys. I don't think about them. And like the thing that I really don't respect is like they're all their content is just like obsessing about me and you and Nick and like watching our content and making money off us. You know, it's just pathetic at this point. So it's like, you know, whatever they could do their thing. But, you know. Like, what what would they do without us? You know, that's what I'm saying. Well, they would be hungry is what they would be. Uh, I mean, like, it's... it's, uh, We're we're their content. Right. Uh, And every week, it's it's like a new fucking lie or something new, some new wild Mm -hmm. charge. And honestly, there really is nothing you can say effectively against a barrage like that. Um, You you know what I mean? Like, um, the best way is to ignore it. I mean, and, and then sometimes, you know, I say that, but, you know, they're making, like really fucking scurrilous accusations against people to the point where, you know, if you try to ignore it, then they'll say, oh, well, you're ignoring it. That means, you know, <laughs> you're admitting it or whatever. And it's some wild ass 
fucking allegation. By the time you address that, there's a new one out there. And then mm. even just by talking about it, you're kind of, it's like, when did you start, <laughs> stop beating your wife type scenario almost? You know what yeah. I mean? Like just even bringing no, it up. I, I, I know you, kind of, you can't win if yeah. you don't, if you talk or if you don't talk. I, I mean, and also like, I want people to understand like what types of people, like, this is what they do. They they literally bait you to like report them or something, and then they and then they play like little angels. Oh my gosh, bait just re- you know got people reporting me, which is yeah. not even true. First of all, but even if it was, it's like, dude, PPP has literally doxed my Catholic priests in Arizona and like said I'm running a uh, tax scam and like had people report me to the IRS. He's doxed my right. parents, so it's like you really think I give a shit about this guy? Like I don't care. You know, I wasn't doing this. But even if I was, it's like they're literally <laughs> like doxing people and trying to ruin people's lives. So like they know what they're doing, dude. They're, they're like, right. but, but they, they, they set it up. They bait, bait, bait. They won't leave you alone. And then they're like, oh, my gosh, you know, bank said something or Ralph said something. It's like it's so obvious what they're doing, dude. Well, yeah, it's cry bullying, right? They they, they sit there yeah. and do every dirty trick under the book, you know, or oh, under yeah. the book, over the book, in the book. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of times, and I won't blame anybody specifically, but I have seen a lot of people. I got swatted twice yesterday, uh, and, you know, it, and I know a lot of other people have been swatted too, uh, yeah, so I don't want to make dude, it. Dude, I, I, just saw, I, I was swatted like yeah. 10, 20 times in the last couple months. Right, exactly. And, you know, the fact that, and it's not cool on either side. I wouldn't even no. laugh if it was somebody I didn't like. Um, although, uh, you know, these people, like we said, they go out and try to call, you know, me, you, whoever they don't like, uh, you know, criminals, basically. And they have all this crazy <laughs> fan fiction and shit that's not even accurate. And then yeah. when you get swatted or so-and-so gets swatted, it's like, oh, well, he probably deserved it or, or this or that up. and the other. So, um, I don't know. I'm hoping nothing bad happens, but there has been kind of a wave of, of swattings recently. I know. Oh, yeah. Nick no, uh, Nick was just swatted yeah. like a yeah. couple hours ago and yeah. Yeah, no, it's been pretty constant. Kind of interesting that those guys aren't getting swatted, right? Yeah, yeah, I thought about that hmm. myself. Uh, again, you I don't. Know, I'm not saying I know who's doing it, but you know, it, it's. I, I just noticed one sort of, you know, group of people seems to be getting it really hard, and not really anyone else. It it is curious. I, I've just noticed that uh, that you seem to be correct about that. It seems to be a certain <laughs> segment uh, getting targeted there, and the other segment uh, not. Um, now, uh, let's see. What do you let's see? What have you been working on recently? Uh, I know the RV. We got to do something, man. I talk about this i saw some of the yeah. rv stuff and i was like me and baked have to do <laughs> a most hated tour or something yes, man like, across yes. the u.s i love that no i think we should because like literally just us talking about this i already know everyone's gonna see oh my gosh baked and ralph teaming up and i i think it's a great story too because like you know, originally we hated each other. Sure. You, you kind of took me down for a little bit. I came after you for, you know, and we had all that beef and like, now we're cool. Now we're on the same page. So I think it is kind of ironic and, and funny. Um, yeah, I definitely think maybe like this summer we should like do a little event or something. I think that'd be awesome. I'm thinking that too. Uh, and yeah, it's got the history. It's got the lore. Uh, and oh, I'm yeah. thinking, you know, it's also got the haters. Like, <laughs> Like, like I said, yeah. uh, a lot of people. I, I, well, I pro just, and I mean, your it. last event was fucking hilarious. Oh, like, dude. I, I just need to know what to expect. Do I need to like uh, be dodging punches at this next event or what? I mean, you know what? That was crazy. Honestly, <laughs> that guy should have knocked me out. I said this before because I didn't, for some reason, I didn't even see it coming, but he had like a clean shot on me and, oh, yeah. but he just threw it without you know like falling through so it's kind of yeah. just like somebody slapping at you with their elbow or something. you know what i mean like i guess if you would have yeah. caught me right with the point maybe it would have hurt uh but it was like he just kind of slapped me with this part of his arm or whatever <laughs> now, it looked pretty yeah. it looked pretty tough uh on on film but uh it wasn't really that much yeah i guess we'll probably have to uh be on guard for some uh, the bodyguards or over something, exuberant yeah. uh <laughs> Members of the public. That was uh, so funny, though. Like, I don't care what anyone says about you, your content, man. Like, you know, it can be a shit show. It can be crazy. But that that's what, you know, people expect. That's what people like about you. So it's content. 
Now, what's going on on um, the legal front? I know, like me, uh, we have a lot of things in common, actually. People want to put us in jail uh, and yeah, take us oh, off yeah. the field, as I like to say. Uh, and I know you get a lot of that, too. I wish yeah. I could just put this guy in jail. Yeah. He would be ruined. <laughs> and I, I wish I could see him broken homeless. Like, I get a lot of the ultra haters, I guess I would call oh, them. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, for sure. I, I get that, too. Yeah, I'll give you an update. Like, basically, so one case, and, like, once again, you know, the, the haters are they, they're saying so many false things. So one case is where I allegedly took down a cardboard sign that said happy Hanukkah from a light pole, like literally didn't damage the sign or anything, literally a cardboard, like five cent sign that said happy Hanukkah. I took it down allegedly and said, you know, w where's the Merry Christmas? Cause it was Christmas time and I, I <laughs> didn't see a single Merry Christmas sign. It was all happy Hanukkah stuff. And I was like, what the fuck is this? So it was just, I was just kind of joking. And now the uh, Arizona cops have refiled that as a felony. And Dude, are you uh, before, serious? Yes, totally serious. It was just a misdemeanor before. But my, my lawyer, you know, hit up the prosecutors and they're like, he's like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Like, this is, they, there's no even, there's not even damage on this sign. Now you're trying to call it like some felony, some hate crime. So let's say they're they, trying to say hate crime, I guess. Then yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They're trying to say it's an anti-Semitic wow. crime. Yeah. It's dude. It's retarded. They got like a, I didn't a local know rabbi involved and all this <laughs> no. shit. It's nuts. Dude. I didn't know this. Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? Look it up. And the, dude, the ADL is working with like the Arizona cops. It's really fucked up. I, I hate our cops now, by the way, <laughs> really you need to make a remix. <laughs> <just to> say. <laughs> I hate our cops for the new era. I think maybe that, I that would do. be the Yeah. <laughs> I mean, after this legal shit, I got to make a new song. But until then, I got to lay yeah, low. Yeah, probably but best to wait until after the trial and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before Your we put Honor, out there. We have a song to play. <laughs> <laughs> billboard yeah, charts that, that we hate our good. cops yeah probably best to save that for the celebration i think but yeah. um so like but, well, go let, ahead, let, yeah. let me finish here so like but the thing is so, so i see all my haters celebrating they're like oh bake got a new felony huh but guess no the cops refiled it and they want it to be a felony but we talked to the prosecutors and they're like nah we're not going to refile this it's it's just going to be a misdemeanor so it the point though is the ADL and the Arizona cops are pushing to fuck me any way they can, but even the prosecutors are like, nah, this is not a felony. This is you know, there, there's no teeth to this. So luckily it's not actually gonna be a felony, but it's just that uh, my lawyer got word from the prosecutors that the Arizona cops wanted it to be. Um, but you know that that's just the track record that I've had lately is all these people, all these people just want to fuck me over, uh, you know, Kiwi Farms or whoever it is. They'll, they'll take clips out of context. Look, I'm an IRL streamer. I do some crazy shit, but I like to have fun. I don't hate anybody. You know that. And, uh, you know, IRL gets a little messy sometimes. But that's the update on that. On the Capitol case, um, this is another thing. Is So basically, on April 19th, I have a court date, and I have to choose if I'm going to take a plea deal or go to trial. And, you know, I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, don't take the plea deal. You're a fed if you take the plea deal. And I'm going to be honest, like I probably will take the plea deal. I don't really know. I haven't made up my mind, but the plea deal, I don't have to wear a wire. I don't have to do anything weird. It's just basically they don't want to go to trial. So if I take the plea, I get a misdemeanor. If I don't take the plea, I get two misdemeanors and a felony. And I have to go against a, a jury in fucking Washington, D.C. And it, I, I don't really trust the jury up there. I mean, the jails are 88% black. I looked it up. And it's yeah. like, I don't know. So it's like, do I want to get, yeah, I could maybe win. Because I know a guy won recently. But I'm also baked Alaska. I was also, you know, yelling in the Capitol, let's go, unleash the Kraken, occupy yeah. the Capitol. Like, I was I was shit posting. They'll but, be able to show all that probably, too. But to yeah. a judge and a jury, yeah. oh, they're going to play every clip in the book. So it's like, yeah. do I just want to plea out and I'll probably have, like, two years probation, you know, move on with my life? Or do I want to potentially face years in jail? So that that's what I'm you know, facing on the capital charges. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, again, uh, those of us who've been involved in the court system, most of the time a plea is how it ends up uh, yeah. in the first place, and there's a good reason for that uh, because the deck is absolutely stacked against you uh, if you're mm -hmm. a defendant and they have every trick in the book. They can cut deals with other people, whether those are accurate or not, right? People are trying to get their right. time shaved off. Um, they can play 
stuff that makes you puts you in an unflattering light, whether it's at, you know what I mean? Whether it's accurate to the overall picture or not. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I had that happen to me too. They're like, look, they're going to play every, you know, and some stuff that happened a while <laughs> yeah. back, like right at the hotel couch yeah. and all that. They're like, look, also you were cursing the police on the way to the police station. We have you in the back of the car and they're going to play Damn. all that in court. Good luck in front of a jury. Right. Like that's not yeah. going to, that's just not going to play. Uh, and you mentioned the stuff in Arizona. I mean, it just sounds like they're overreaching with that. Uh, uh, the stuff with, mm-hmm. the, with the Hanukkah or whatever the fuck that was. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that sounds I mean, like unconstitutional. Why that's like, hold up. Yeah, yeah, they'll find any clip from like forever ago and they'll, they'll take it out of context and then some faggots on Kiwi Farms or whatever just right. send it to like all these prosecutors. I mean, it, it's the gay. They do shit that ever. for it's real. Like, I don't think people understand. Shit. Yeah, I'm not it's sure. Really pe- gay. I'm not sure people understand, but they actually do parse these streams and mm-hmm. spam like law enforcement officials. Yeah, it's really and gay. It's really, and, and it's honestly, it's killed IRL. Like, yeah, like you were saying before, like IP2 IRL, it's kind of dead right now, and a big reason is because of the callers and all these fucking faggots that are spamming everything. Like, it's just, it's just turned out to be real gay. So, um, now what do you, you think know, about? You know what? what I think you're an interesting person to talk about in that regard, you know, how hot IRL was even just a year or two ago uh, mm-hmm. and where it is now. Um, and, and you see it, you know, I see him doing an IP2 podcast or whatever. And no, you know, honestly, that's not a terrible <laughs> idea, maybe. But like, you know, the IP2 content is going out in the street, right? Wild shit happening. Uh, and yeah. it seems like it's been criminalized to such an extent from these crybaby haters that mm-hmm. it's like, it's it's dangerous to do. Not in just, oh, you might have a wild night, you might get a disorderly conduct or something like that. Versus, mm-hmm. no, they're going to try to twist it and get your whole life fucked up. Oh, yeah. No, right. exactly. I mean, you got examples of, like, Smooth Sanchez. He went up to uh, a, a woman and, like, pretended he was, like, a Al-Qaeda. Or he said, like, I have a... I have a bomb on me or something like silly though. And like, he's facing like several years. He can't be on the internet. Um, you know, you got people like gypsy crusader. I know he wasn't IRL, but you know, if you're doing something like that and they don't like your views or they don't like your jokes or whatever, they're going to fuck you hard. It's not going to be, you know, a slap on the wrist. It's going to be several years in jail or several years probation. And you can't go on social media. Yeah. they, They really come after you. And you know, like, I, I, I'm a very high profile target. Like it, it sucks a lot. Like I wish I could uh, not be in this position sometimes, but you know, I think it's time to, you know, for me to innovate some different types of content. That's why I've been doing, you know, more gaming streams. I've been, I've been doing more low key IRL and whatever. And I've been having a good time. You know, uh, there, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for me and you to work together. There, there's going to be a lot, but I think right now, like a lot, the dust is settling in right. a lot of areas and, and people are just looking for the next big thing. Right. Exactly. And you're cleaning up some stuff and, and getting some stuff settled. And I think people don't, I saw some people like, where's baked? Why isn't he out here? It's like, Oh, okay. You know, like we were just talking about, you go out there and people are trying to put a case on you or something wild. It's like, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah. It's not even really, uh, it's not even really worth it to do some of the crazier stuff. <laughs> all right. Like, I mean, cause yeah, no, uh, I, I know, Once like, you get I controversial, to, I was streaming in Ebor City a few weeks ago. Yeah. Like, random people coming up, throwing eggs at me. Right. People, like, yeah. Like, like well, and then what me, can you do, man? Other than catch a charge. And try, like, yeah. And I'm just like, is this worth it when I could just like make money from my house? Like, cause right. They can't fucking come to my house, you know. Yeah, so. and it's fucked up. I mean, it, you know, and I've had, you know, just even within the past few days, somebody coming by my house and doing stuff like that. And it's like, <laughs> wow. there's nothing you can do. And people are like, oh, you know, haters, basically. Oh, you called yeah. the cops or, oh, you did this. And it's like, well, you, I can't just go out there and, and hit them with the ball bat or something like that, right? Like, cause <laughs> yeah. that's what they, right? I'll get in trouble. And that's what they right. really want anyway. I don't know, man. It's just, it's a really... Uh, you know, weird situation to be in, I guess. That I don't even know if people really think about. Uh, and again, I signed up for it, right? Public figure and all that. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't oh, want to yeah, do too sad of a song, but it really is just kind of bizarre. Well, uh, yeah, sometimes. it was a lot better. I'll say this, like in 2016, like around that time, I feel like it was a lot better. Yeah, like, I, dude. I I was doing crazy IRL, like. Like, I filmed every fucking protest, whether it was like Antifa, BLM, Trump rallies. Like, I would go to crazy protests and get crazy footage of fights and all sorts of shit. And then, and then it's like, okay, then I stream January 6th and then they call me a domestic terrorist. And it's like, what the fuck? You know, like (laughs) I, I, I've streamed pretty crazy protests and like, you know, 
why can, why can I not document a historical event? You know, there was other press in there. So yeah, it's just like, it's, it's too dangerous. It's like, it's weird. You, you sort of have to be like a left wing shill. I mean, you look at like Hassan Piker, for instance, you know, he's an open communist, total faggot. And, you know, he's praised by Twitch. He makes millions of dollars. Everyone's his friend. You know, I don't hear anyone saying he's too political or extreme, but all, all I hear about for me is, oh, Baked is too political. He's so extreme and right wing and he's a neo-Nazi. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I'm a conservative, America first, traditional values, but I like to have fun. I'm an easygoing guy. And I think I was a little bit ahead of my time, too. You know, I talked oh, about Oh, by the way, we just things. got swatted again on air. I thought you I, did. Yeah, I thought that's what the dog oh, was no. barking about. Do you gotta do well, anything? No, no, it's cool. Just just hold on one sec. And okay. I, I want you to finish up, so put a pin in that. Don't don't lose that story sure. there. Cause I was still listening to that, but I heard the dog barking okay. in the background. Yep. So I yep, sent sure. her a text and I was like, are we get, like what's going on? <laughs> so oh, what man. what did they say this time? I don't know. They didn't say what the reason was. They said that there's been multiple other calls that they just haven't even come out. Oh, okay. So, so did they like send the whole squad in again or what? Oh, that's lower than what they had yesterday. So three in two days? I mean, do they think I'm going to stop streaming or what? Like, I don't know. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Oh, they said it was more, but this is all, all they came out for? Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, I guess the footage is down there on the thing again. That's crazy because I have a camera out front, so it's been capturing mm. all these. We didn't even get the second one put out. <sighs> Damn. Anyway. Uh, all right, thank you. Is the baby scared? She's not scared. She wasn't scared last night, was she? She didn't even, yeah, she's on some fuck the police shit. She's like not even phased. Um, all right, now, yeah, now talk about, now you were mentioning Hassan Piker and, and some of these people who were able to go out and exist and live life, uh, basically. And they still came from some of this, you know, underground streaming or whatever, but oh, because yeah. they have the well, right like, politics. It's they're funny, able to do that. like, so like Hassan Piker's best friend is Will Neff. That was my best friend at BuzzFeed. You can look it up like straight up. He was like totally cool with me. He was like the coolest guy there. He was down with Trump, you know, and then he totally flipped and he's like a song Piker's best friend. But like the point is, is like people love to attack um, people with our views and just be like, you're so political and extreme. And it's just not true. Hassan Piker's a fucking communist and everyone thinks that's cool. And he gets Lambos and has, you know, million dollar mansions and he's promoted by Jeff Bezos and Amazon and all that. Right. And you know, and, and yeah, you don't see him having to go into fucking hiding and shit. Like he might get a stream sniper here and there, you know, clowning on him, but that's the extent of it. He's, he, he's living a great life. So, yeah. you know, I, I just hope that, you know, I don't know if Trump's going to get in, 2024 or whatever but we do need to do something about this and that's why it's good we have platforms like cozy and odyssey and you know all this uh power chat uh you know we're building oh. our own infrastructure so i know it is going to take a couple years to really you know get solidified but i want to beat these motherfuckers dude i want to beat hassan i want to beat everyone you know the truth is on our side we and, and that's what i was saying i was saying I've been saying the truth ahead of my time for a long time. Back in 2016, I was saying, you know, white people are under attack. I was at Charlottesville. And now, you know, those are becoming more mainstream conservative talking points. So, I, you know, I hope that, uh, you know, the, the trend continues and that we can sort of have some vindication in the next couple of years you, and get our, you know, platforms back and all that. You know, you mentioned power chat. Uh, obviously you got a hand in that. Um, and cozy.tv we're here broadcasting on, you mentioned gab, gab pay, uh, mm -hmm. and some other stuff. I mean, things are kind of, there is a little glimmer of sunshine there, right? Like it's not all black pill central, uh, this yeah. last year or six months at pack three. I know we were both mm -hmm. there, you know, there are some, you know, some, real beacons in the darkness i guess you know what i mean uh and some and some avenues i think um that even a couple years ago it looked a lot more dire or or especially right after january 6th right uh mm -hmm. where people kind of scattered and i know some people just now coming back even right. i saw some people in orlando and they're like yeah i'm just kind of now getting back into things uh because of january 6th it kind of became dangerous uh, oh, yeah. For some people, or they felt it was dangerous, at least, to be involved in this stuff. So um, I think that there really is kind of um, a real avenue for, for good things to happen. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, it's just going to take time. Uh, you know, we, we got to win the culture war back. I, I know that's been said a million times, but it's it's very true. You got, you know, people like Sam Hyde. You got lots of people on our side making 
uh, good content. Even Joe Rogan, you know, he's not, I wouldn't call him like a right wing guy or like Elon Musk, but like they're saying a lot of real shit. Sure. Like they want free speech on Twitter. And like, I think, you know, a lot of things we've been saying are things that a lot of people can really resonate with because they're just true. Um, you know, we're in some weird age where you can't talk about the truth apparently without, you know, being a neo-Nazi or racist or whatever, you know, it's just all stupid. We've heard it a million times, but yeah, I think the truth wins in the end. I think we got to just keep doing what we're doing. Um, I think we're going to continue to build up the platforms like Cozy and Gab, Odyssey, et cetera, uh, Power Chat. You, you know, for Power Chat, for instance, you know, I'm I'm on the board there. We're working on a crypto option. We're working on oh. uh, monthly subs. We're working on a ton of new features uh, that are going to put, you know, dollars into uh, all sorts of different streamers that have been banned. So, yeah, I mean, we're making our own ecosystem. It's like... We're, we're playing the game on like fucking well, expert mode. You know, it's, it's harder than everyone else has it. But I think in the end, it's really going to pay off. Well, you know what? And can we just get a round of applause? I'm not sure if everybody knows uh, outside of the streamer core or whatever, just how big power chat has been. Uh, yeah. But that's been huge, dude. I, I mean, you already know this, but uh, yeah. that thing has been great for a lot of people. And not all those people agree with each other either, by the way. <laughs> all yeah, right. Well, uh, and so, I'll say this too. Like we don't ban anyone. I know. Like, I got some people that are very, very rude to me. Yeah. And, oh, actually, I'll say this: this, those same, the same people that are saying, "Oh, baked is reporting." Yeah. Guess what? They're on Power Chat, and I specifically did not ban them when obviously I could, but it's because I'm not going to. I want everyone to be able to be on there. It's for you know dissident streamers or people who have been banned. So like you know that there alone is like a reason. I'm not trying to ban people or report people um anybody can be on power chat it's open to you know any streamer that reaches out we're like yeah sure just don't you know do anything illegal or whatever but you know e even people i don't like you know i'll, I'll uh you know, help build platforms for them, whatever, you know? So, and, and that's one reason too, why it's like, I, w I wish some of those people dude could just like take it. Like, are, are we really the, the targets here? Are we the people you need to be going after? Cause like last I checked, there's so much degenerate, nasty shit going on in the world by actual evil people. We're just fucking hanging out and making some content. You know, I, I thought these guys are supposedly right wing or red pill based in red pill, you know? So it's just, I would just basically say, you know, in appeal that go after targets that are going to make a real impact. And I, w I would say to the people that support those guys, like, you really want to support, like, basically infighting, you know, people destroying each other that think very similarly? Or should we, you know, focus our energy outwards towards our actual enemies that, you know, want us to die and all that? Paw Sticker said he did it for the culture. That was my catchphrase there for PowerShot. And honestly, a lot of people had mentioned that to me. Uh, and, of course, I already knew. I mean, we hadn't talked about it directly. Uh, yeah. But they were like, oh, why isn't so-and-so? You know, some people we talked about tonight already. Why, why are they using PowerChat and why isn't Baked and so-and-so taking them off? Uh, and it's like, well, and, again, we hadn't talked about that. But I already knew mm. probably the answer to that is because, well, once you start taking one person off for that reason, it kind of changes the, the tenor of what you're doing there with PowerChat. And also, it's just like you could do it, but you're not. I mean, it's kind of just yeah. the, the principle. No, of like it. trust me, I th yeah, I bet you thought of that. Yeah, <laughs> fucking trust my mind. I'm like, what the fuck, motherfuckers? But like, our whole approach there at Power Chat, and you know, we we have a. I'm just one of the guys. We have a whole board sure. of people, but you know, our approach is free speech and giving tools to streamers that have sort of been deplatformed or you know ostracized by all the social media uh, censorship. So. Yeah, exactly. If we, if we do it to one person, then it's going to be like, what about this yeah. guy? What about this guy? So it's the only it reason we it. would ever ban someone is if they're doing something like extremely illegal and like, you know, we're getting hit up by law enforcement or something and be like, sorry, man. But, uh, you know, like we, we kind of take a hands-off approach. Just yeah. let the streamers do their thing. Yeah, you know, um, and again, uh, I... <laughs> You pretty much said it already, though. It's like, well, if Bake's so bad, uh, you know, Power Chat doesn't seem so bad for you guys to be using. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen any. Right. I haven't seen <laughs> yeah. any oh, complaints about that. Um, but um, all right, now let's see. We could take some calls, maybe, uh, yeah, if people sure. want to try to join in on the Telegram. Uh, now that could get – we had a caller earlier that was out of – well, he got a little wild with our last guest, Edward Dutton. Check out that replay, by the way. <laughs> Call in live now. Baked Alaska is with us. Uh, swatting's getting so common, I didn't even go downstairs and see him this time. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Call in live now. Baked Alaska is with us. All right, now let me start the live stream. 
right. I was using Discord for the longest, but, well. Oh, yeah, the bands. Yeah, it's just getting to be so fucking annoying. All right, so we're up on t.me slash the Ralph Retort. I'll post that in the chats if you guys want to call in, ask Baked Alaska a question. Uh, what about Louis Thoreau? What about him? <laughs> <laughs> all right fa- to touche now but what was it like uh and we we covered it and watched the movie and all that stuff yeah uh and of course he tried to do the um i don't know ambush reveal on there you know at the end <laughs> Fake, you know oh this is what i was saving up the whole time it's like yeah. okay of course you were faggot we knew what you were all about but uh yeah, no i, I yeah. mean i i actually think he made he made me look pretty good i do like, too i've I felt kind of bad for Beardson. I mean, I, I thought uh, Beardson was funny still. Uh, the whole venti thing was a little awkward, but, you know, I feel like I felt more bad for him. My my shit, I felt like, like I would say something, and I'm like, oh, if they cut, like, this would look really bad, but then he would let me say the whole thing, and I was like, wow, that was really interesting. And I think the reason why is because my cameraman, Folklore Americana, Steven, you know, he, he fucking filmed that whole thing, uh, of the Louis Thoreau doc, so they knew if they were going to selectively edit it, then we were going to release our own version. So um, that actually really worked out for us. Yeah, and uh, honestly, yeah, I thought you stood up to him pretty well. Uh, and you. Beardson, oh, you're welcome for sure. And I mean, I thought he kind of got caught in his shit. Uh, and definitely, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you couldn't say like he, you know, you gave as good as you got uh, in that in that last little confrontation there. Uh, but mm-hmm. Beardson, yeah, you're right. I talked about this too. Beardson seemed to have like pissed him off on a personal level, and it might have just been the drive out to his house that he threw him out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But he was like, he was really making it a point to fuck with Beardson, uh, which I just thought, I don't know. I thought um, that seemed like he let his anger almost get the better of him. Like I don't know, watching it, even if I, if I had been detached, I would have still noticed. I mean, like, damn, this guy seems kind of pissed off at this one. You know what I mean? Like this one guy yeah. on the documentary yeah, he, seems he like he's singling him out. Like yeah. way harder than anyone else. It was weird. Yeah, it was fucked up. All right, now uh, we have a couple callers here. Uh, we got right. some super chats too, I think. Let me refresh that speaking of power chat. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I see a few right here. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a few. Let me go back though. Where are we at? Uh, okay. Now, we also were playing some of the guys' footage from the shooting today in New York City. We'll probably cover that again uh, after Baked leaves. Now, let's see. Yeah, it was a black dude. Oh, you saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're they're going to they're gonna memory hold that real quick. Yeah, I'm expecting today <laughs> will probably be the only day they'll be talking about this. Uh, it'll be quietly uh, sent to the side. Now, this, now some of these, again, uh, you know how it goes with the... With yeah, this, yeah, yeah. No, that's guys. fine. Anonymous sent $3 baked gave AF group chat messages to the Fed. To the feds. Now, the reason, <laughs> the reason I didn't that's, skip that's that. funny. Yeah. Please, please show me some evidence of that. Like, that's the funny thing. People will literally make up lies out of their ass. Right. Zero evidence. So I, I can only just kind of laugh at that because it's kind of funny. So thank you. Well, yeah. And that's kind of, you know, why I went ahead and played it too, because it's like you hear that shit all the time. And it's like, okay, well, first off, you can just say that about anybody, right? With no, yeah. like so and so gave messages. Like, well, and, and let me say this this real quick in in my defense um okay i went i was arrested 20 u.s marshals with guns outside my hotel room threw me in federal prison solitary confinement for a week ankle monitor on my fucking leg for 120 days still i have a pre-trial probation officer i'm still in multiple cases uh my mom was just subpoenaed because we're on a family plan to try to get my communications we're fighting that in court immense legal costs um yeah fed by the way like right. how does yeah. that make any sense like and they're like oh well they're doing this and that and i'm just like bro feds don't fight a subpoena trying to get your phone records like what the fuck are you talking about so um hey but it, it's funny it's funny but like af group chats what the f- show me evidence because it doesn't exist please yeah, as I was gonna say, you're really getting some great Fed treatment. Yeah, that's another thing. Sometimes it's like, all right, uh, yeah, they're upgrading your charges, trying to fucking create hate crimes and shit. It's like, yeah. oh wow, great Fed treatment. All right, yeah. uh, oh wow, we got a few callers. All right, now hopefully, hopefully they're well behaved. We'll see. Uh, hey, I, I can take anything. It's all, all right, good. Bog one v one. Go ahead, sir. 
Bog. What the fuck? What What's the up, fuck? Bog? How are you? What the fuck, babe? What the fuck <laughs> are you doing, cunt? What is your question? Oh, I just want to say you're a fag. All right. Okay. Bog. Thank you. Thank you, Bog. I, I love you. I love you, Bog. Have a good night. Very, very good. All right. <laughs> High quality uh, callers. Yeah, I was about to say, truth. yeah, great. I'm glad he he really <laughs> opened it up well there. All right. No. Yeah, thank I you. I like that caller. That yeah. That's funny. Well, it could have been worse. I mean, honestly, yeah. the guy earlier said the end bomb like 35 times in a row before I could figure out how to kick him because uh, I'm not used to using Telegram for calls. And then I finally figured it out after Edward Dunn was horrified by the 31st in, 35th N word. But, uh, we finally got him kicked. All right, let's play these real quick. We'll bring in some more callers. T.me slash the Ralph Retort if you want to call in. Laura Deragoran sent three dollars. How does baked like cold beefaroni lama? Cold beefaroni. <laughs> I don't know that. Cold beefaroni. Oh yeah, that's uh that's a thing I did on the RV. Yeah, uh, cold beefaroni. Not bad. We like our RV was broken down. We had no microwave, so I was just eating it cold out of the pan. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else are you going to do? Now, the RV, we got to do, like I said, we got to do, I don't know if it's going to be RV or some type of tour across America or mm. something. We got to do something like that, though. Yeah, uh, that'd be cool. Definitely. $3 asked, I just asked asked Alaska him. about giving AF group chats to just, feds. We just talked about that. Yeah, we talked about that. <laughs> Go ahead. Zuma Brain sent $3. Power Chat is easily the best so. donation platform, and the fact that Lelutes didn't even think how I should take a cut shows what kind of people we have on our side. Thank Lelutes you. Is goated. Yeah, man. I, think I appreciate so too. that. It's, uh, it's huge. And uh, I've said this to anybody who listen on the show and in private. Uh, it's been a big deal. It's a big fucking deal. Uh, to mm -hmm. put it a, to put it a certain way, All yeah, because right. we, we we didn't even promote it. Like yeah. pretty much, like me and Laura started mouth. using it, and yeah. then everyone's like, "How do I get on?" And like it's just been like a word of mouth thing, which is really cool. Yeah, definitely one hundred percent. All right, now uh, let's see here. I see Southern Dingoes lined up. Oh God, okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes too. Uh, oh wait, I can't hear that for some reason. Anonymous uh, sent three dollars. Baked, baked is obsessed. Is obsessed. With okay, a woman. I don't know anything about that. All right, now wait, hold on. Why did the sound go out? Let me see. I might have to refresh that. Uh, it's supposed to. Oh, I know why I did that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. There we go. David sent $3 baked. How much money do we need to crowdfund for the RV? Let's get down to real numbers. <laughs> so what's going on with the RV? Um, well, no, that, that RV I, I actually had to sell because it kept breaking down. Yeah, so uh, what did you finally get it sold off or what happened? Like, I didn't know what, what ended up happening with it. Yeah, basically, like, it needed four new tires. It needed a new battery. It needed a new transmission. And so uh, it needed all this shit. And it needed to be towed. And so, like, just the cost of fixing it was basically more than it was worth. So I just sold it to Casey. Uh, but Casey, uh, content God, he is fixing it up and, you know, it might be something we could use in the, f in the future. He also has a whole lot of RVs, but wow. I, I think me and you should definitely like team up with Casey and have him, you know, put our heads together and come up with something cool. We need we to do, do something some big. You know what? We need to do something big. Uh, again, I mentioned, I already have a week booked in Vegas in the end of July, but uh, that mm. can easily be changed. But I want to, I think we should do something going across the country, maybe ending up That'd in Vegas sweet. or ending up in LA or somewhere out West. Uh, and just doing a tour across America, the most hated tour. I've already got it in my mind. <laughs> that would be awesome. I've already got it in my We're mind. We're going to need uh, bulletproof way. windows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when we drive around like the fucking Pope and shit. Yeah, exactly. That's how we're going to have to roll. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now, let's see. Is this one going to play? Let's see here. We got some calls. I think that's going to be interesting. Here we go. Based in Red Pilch sent three dollars. Earl Ralph at the bars is the best Ralph. Ah, well, <laughs> I have to clean up a few things myself before we do that. Uh, all right, now let's see here. All right, here's some more. Chaos Acolyte sent three dollars. Oh no, the feds are going to hear me support a fat, loud asshole by bombarding him with dick and fart jokes. Whatever will I do? But seriously. <laughs> I don't really like your style, but thank you for power chat. Right. Hey, no worries, dude. Thank right. you. Here we go. Here's AF Ohio Patriot. <clears throat> AF Ohio Patriot sent $3. Hey, Baked, can you unban me from commenting on your Telegram? 
I was critical of you once and now I can't comment. Yeah, you were sure. To crowd well, what was his name? Some chick whose car broke down. BTW, I could have fixed the generator on your camper. That's oh, AF damn. Ohio Patriot is his name. AF right Ohio? Here. Yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah, I think it's yeah, probably we, we have We have a lot of, a lot yeah. of mods just because there's like a lot of spam. I, I mean, that's one reason I have a lot of people say like, why do you have like 75 mods? Dude, on, I don't know if you see on Telegram, people will spam gay porn in the middle of the night, like randomly. There's different time zones. Like, I don't know. I just have a lot of people on Telegram watching the shit because it gets a little weird. But uh, yeah, no, I'll... If you hit me up, if you got banned, I'll definitely unban you. Yeah, it does get a little weird, doesn't it? All right, Santa yeah. Claus, go ahead. Santa Claus sent $3 power chat. Power chat, I agree. Power chat. Uh, all, right. all right, now let's take some callers. Uh, RoboCat first, because I think RoboCat's a pro-baked guy. What's up, RoboCat? Yo, Yoba. Yo, what's up, dude? How are you? Uh, I just wanted to, uh, oh, I'm doing great. I just wanted to say to uh, the stream that uh, definitely pray for all of our patriots, pay for baked Ala- pray for baked Alaska, and donate to his legal fund. You, know, you could really use a lot of help right now. And in general, just pray for all, like everyone that's been getting swatted. It's been a very scary thing. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank man. you. Did Did you have a question or you just had a statement? Uh, just a statement. Thank you, brother. All right. Hey, thanks so much. Love you, dude. Really appreciate that. And hey, if it, can I show my legal fund real quick? Sure. Yeah, just, just if, if anyone's interested, give sendgo.com slash baked Alaska. That's going to be the legal fund. I appreciate that. All right, now let's see AF Ohio Patriot. AF Ohio Patriot sent $3. My telegram is make Ohio great again. All right, now. Okay, hold up, hold up. I think I might be getting a call from the cops. Hold up. Hello. Uh, wouldn't surprise me. Uh, good. Am I getting swatted? Yes, you are. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm actually doing an interview online. Do you need me to come outside? If you don't mind for just a second. Okay. Yeah, I'll be right back. Wow. Okay. Go yes. ahead. Sorry, sorry, Ralph. Oh, yeah, man, I'm getting go swatted, ahead, dude. But... Yeah. All right, BRB. Damn. So we both got swatted in the same call. Is that a? I don't know if that's a record or not. Yeah. And then somebody on Twitter was like, no, I'm watching some hater. queen o hater. And they're like, I'm watching. You didn't get swatted. It's like, yeah, I didn't even have to go outside because my fucking fiance is downstairs. I got footage of it on my camera, idiot. Fuck, I don't even have to. You don't even have to make shit up. Fucking dumbass. Yeah, there's so much swatting going around. Why would I have to make anything up? What the fuck? Yeah, that's fucking crazy, dude. They want to see somebody get killed. Obviously, I mean, it's not even a, it's not even a joke. It's not even hyperbole at this point. All right, we'll see. Sounds like they knew it was bullshit, though. At least, <clears throat> yeah, that's what I th- that's what I fear too, pot sticker. Honestly. Um, you know, luckily we've been kind of lucky that nobody's gotten hurt. Honestly, Dingo, are you still here? Sorry. I, I'll get you in, man, but there's another swatting. I got swatted earlier in the call. So if you want to come back in, I'm not, I'm not ducking any callers or anything. I didn't think they would get a twofer. By the way, I'm going to turn my AC on. It's fucking hot in here. All right. Well, we're here live on the kill stream. Bakes was here with us. We've been live with him for almost an hour. Uh, I got swatted about 20 or 30 minutes in. We just kept it moving. Then he got swatted like five or 10 minutes ago. So we're, we're just sitting here, touch and go. Bakes will be back on. Cer- uh, certainly, I'm pretty sure here shortly. Uh, so my apologies on that. I'll bring you in, Dingo. I don't want you to... Well, I'm going to bring you in in a minute. We'll wait till he gets back. Uh, Telegram's working really well for calls, by the way. If you don't have Telegram, get it now. 
I'm on there. T.me slash the route for tour. Baked Alaska's on there. Nick Fuentes, even Culture War, all the people we were talking about earlier that we don't like. Well, guess what? They're on there too. All these motherfuckers are on there. Everybody you can think of, pretty much. And if they're not on there, they're not smart because they need to be on there. Ryan Dawson, I'm looking at his shit right now. Chagat, of course. Dalton Claude Felter. Gavin McInnes, who I need to follow back up with. Fuck, why haven't I done that? All right, I'm back. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Everything good? Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, no, the, like, the thing is, I was getting swatted way before everyone else. I yeah. mean, you kind of were too, but, sure. like, consistently. And so they have, like, my cell number, so they just call. I, I said, hey, if you get a swat, just call me. They call, and they're like, hey, is it good? And then they, they uh, said, okay, we just have to ask you for protocol. Someone said there's explosives in your house. It, did anyone come over with explosives? I'm like, nope. They're like, do you want us to bring dog sniffing whatever in the house i'm like no no thank you and they're like okay have have a nice night so it was pretty chill but just retarded that you know people are trying to fucking get us hurt and all that it's fucking stupid honestly and at this point it sounds like you got a pretty cool police department there uh yeah, now i would yeah. hope at this point they would do this, something like that here now of course tonight pantsu came in and said well they said they didn't come for a bunch of the calls uh mm. and so apparently somebody's just spamming them with bullshit I don't know. It's it's still fucking crazy. Like at this point, you know yeah. it's fake. Like why are they even sending out? Well, dude, who, whoever's behind this shit, like, do they really think? I mean, I think the FBI is probably all over this shit. Like when when you're doing this across state this lines, level, to like ten different people, like you're gonna get fucked royally, bro. I will say this. Uh, I bet you somebody's investigating at this point for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if if they're talking to anybody. Or, you know what I mean? If there's any loose ends, uh, I'd mm. probably be worried, right? Like, And, you know, some people oh, like yeah. this usually brag or something, right? Mm. Uh, and so I would expect that would be, if they get them, it would be something like that, right? Um, yep. But, all right, let's take some callers. We got some more. Sorry about the cool. swattings. Uh, all right, I was yep. going to bring in, let's see, somebody else. But Dingo's here. We'll go ahead and bring him in. Dingo, what's up? What's up, Dingo? Dingo, what's up? Hey, can you hear me? Yep. Hey, what's up, Dingo? Hey, what's up? Yeah, no, this Telegram shit really is smooth, bro. Yeah, I think it works better than Discord, honestly, um, in a lot of ways, uh, especially on mobile. Discord on mobile, sometimes when you call in, it's just you can't even hardly work. It depends on the phone. But anyway, what's up? Yeah, no, no, you're right. It is smoother than Discord in every way, I think. But anyways, though. Okay, well, I was listening earlier while I was rocking my son to sleep, and uh I heard Bake talk about like the, his appeals to the people. These you know people on the right, I guess. Talking about infighting, you know. I, I'm assuming you're talking about like Wignats slash Wignats, quote unquote, slash culture war criminal types. Is that right? Uh yeah, basically. Okay, and and I'm not here to troll or have nothing mm -hmm. like that. I just have a genuine question from mm -hmm. a, a willingness to accept your olive branch here, all right? On one mm -hmm. condition. I, I think that like a lot of us need to know um, if, if you want us to take you seriously again and trust anything you say, we need to, we need an explanation, which I don't think you've ever given behind that big video you did blaming alt-right memes for the Christchurch shooting like that, that you need to talk mm. about that with us. Okay, sure. Yeah. I mean, I did address that several times. I don't mind doing it again. Uh, but essentially at that point I was trying to, like my intentions were good of what I was trying to do. And I'll, I'll be the first to admit I, I did that horribly. And my, I was highly influenced by my ex-girlfriend Ashton birdie. So she wrote this like script for me and she's like, you need to say this to like clear your name, blah, blah, blah. And so, but what I was trying to do and I still feel the same way is I was trying to, I did feel bad. I don't think it's good to shoot up, Look, I don't agree with Muslims, but sh shooting up 50 innocent people, that's obviously fucked up. And I just wanted to make it clear, like, hey, I, I, I'm not with that. I'm not, th this is not what I'm about. I st I'm pro-white. I stand up for white people. I, I understand there's a white genocide and white people are under attack and all that. But I, I'm not, like, with the Richard Spencer crew. I'm not with that crew. And so um, th there wasn't really like an America first movement at that time. So I didn't, I didn't really have a place to fit in, but I basically was like, well, you know, I agree with a lot of this stuff, but I, I don't condone violence. And because, the, and the reason that I, I said a lot of that stuff is I remember going on 4chan and it was just all these like 
neo-Nazi, what, you know, whatever you want to call them, um, people just celebrating like, ha ha. ha. And it's just like, I don't know. I, that just really rubbed me the wrong way. Um, you know, but I'll, I'll be the first to admit, like, I, I sort of panicked and I, I said, I said things horribly and I, I did apologize. I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like I, I didn't mean to throw anyone under the bus or anything like that. Like I'm still, and I'm still cool with a lot of like, I, I know America first people are, are not cool with wig nats or whatever, but like, I'm cool with some wig nats. Like I just, I, I know, I know we agree on a lot of things and like, I do try to, you know, keep the peace with people. So that that's basically what happened though. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not what you said in that video, really. Like you didn't, you didn't have so much nuance. I mean, you were basically disavowing being pro-white saying that the memes hypnotized you and that they hypnotized Taryn. Brent Taryn was a fed up by the way. And mm -hmm. people celebrating it on 4chan were probably, you know, uh, bad actors. I'm sure there's some people mm -hmm. who are just retarded spurs, but like bowl patrol, the most retarded quote pro-white spurs in the whole history of our generation of pro-whiteness confirmed mm -hmm. feds, Vic Mackey, Paul Nealon, both testified against Cantwell over some dumb shit. Like, oh, was wow. Cantwell a friend of mine? No, he was kind of retarded, but does he deserve to be in prison? By the way, I just want to say, no, hold on, wait, 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 I just want to say, you're going into some stuff, I can't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know the nitty-gritty, the back and forth uh, on, on, on stuff you're calling. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to say that, put yeah. the little <laughs> asterisks there with what he goes <laughs> saying, right? I, I don't know the back and forth and all that. Now, oh, go yeah, that's ahead. Cool, that's cool. Okay, that's, 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 that's cool. That's cool. Now, go ahead. Well, I'll, 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 yeah, no, I'll, I'll just say real quick, point, like, though. I do well, appreciate the criticism, the Dingo, and, like, I know we've had, you know, our shit in the past, but I am trying to be more humble, and I am trying to you know, face anything I need to face. So I do appreciate that. Hopefully that explains it a little more. The reason why it sounded so bad is like I said, my ex-girlfriend literally wrote a script and it's like, you need to say this. If you don't say this, you know, like Curious you're going to be, yeah. you're going to get all these charges. You're going to be responsible because yes, the guy, the shooter had used the PewDiePie meme and he used the black sun and he used all these like, a lot of right wing memes that I felt like the 14 words that I, you know, I used to say that. And so I was just, I, I freaked out and I was like, I, I don't want to be associated with like promoting violence and all that. And, um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's kind that of honest sense. what he's saying there, Dingo. Like, I mean, it was a scary situation. His girl's in his ear, like, hey, you need to disavow. You know, it could be over, uh, right? You could get a charge, or you can't be associated with this. And, you know, and he pretty much said, you know, he went out and said some shit he shouldn't have said, right? Like, or went too far. Yeah. My wife asked me to do dumb shit. Like, my wife asked me to do dumb shit all the time. Like, last weekend, she asked me <laughs> if I wanted to try um, some kind of like skin softening face mask with her. And I'm like, that's, thank you, honey, but fuck no, that's retarded. <laughs> Like, so like all of us have women well, yeah, no, I've, no, I've learned to it's not well. listen to women like that. Honestly, I was simping, you know, <laughs> the, the pussy was nice. Like, sorry to be crude, mm -hmm. but you know, she's a pretty girl. Like it was, Relax. I was, I was simping. I, Hey, I'll take the L. I was simping. I, I was like, yes, yes, honey, yes. The best part of the Yang uh, Gang video is her in the, in the anime. <laughs> yep. Um, I noticed that yeah. shot. He had some big bugs. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. I may have watched but, that. Yeah, no, I, I'll take the L on that, Dingo, for sure. But, uh, you know, I, I've been trying oh, to God. do better. And, you know, hope, like I said, my, my, I was never meaning to be like, oh, I'm not right wing anymore or I don't support white people. Like, I was basically like, look, I'm not like Richard Spencer. You know, I, I, I'm just a normal kind of Trump supporter, right-wing guy. I do stand up for white people. I, I don't advocate for violence or any of this crazy fucking crazy shit. Because some, some people, I, I don't know if they're feds or just, you know, whatever, extremists from Fortune. I don't, dude, I don't know. I don't know where they come from. But some of those guys ha, have lost their mind and they're shooting up schools and they're shooting up whatever, you know. But like you said, you know, probably most of them are glowies or whatever. Um but I mean, main, main thing I've learned though, yeah, don't don't listen to women, especially about uh, serious shit. That's about gonna anything. By the way, uh, we <laughs> we have the YouTube restream up over three hundred there alone. Uh, so shout out to the YouTube restream gang gang tonight representing large. Uh, go ahead, Dingo. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, thank you. I'm glad to see the viewership there. Nice, nice. But um, nice. I guess I would just say, like, dude, like a, a lot of us were doing streams and, and content whenever the Christchurch thing happened and but like you're, mm. you're literally the only one right and we all disavowed that shit nobody wants to see that shit it doesn't it's horrible for the pro-white movement when somebody tries to do something terrible like that and then tie our good 
like moral, you know, arguments and viewpoints to it. So none of us were for that. But you're the only one that like went on a a, a rant about now just avowing it. All of us, the ideology. Now wait, not, Dingo. Not just, like, now wait, hold people, on. But, what? I, I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, obviously he's the guest. I'm going to play devil's advocate a little bit. Now he has, he did say it was wrong, right? Like, I mean, like what else can he say basically at that point? Like I made a mistake. Like, I mean, I, 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 he owned, he owned up to something that I think didn't go far enough. I don't think he owned up to what he actually did, which was disavow the ideology. Yeah. That's exactly what that video. What, well, which ideology are you talking about? Uh, you called it alt right. And then you called it pro white. Mm, I, I don't think I said pro white, but I probably said alt right because alt right has changed very much over the years. In the beginning, it was Paul Joseph Watson and Milo and me, and and then later on, it was like yeah. I mean, saying alt right now seems pretty cringe. It's more like dissident right or whatever. So yeah, I, I didn't want to be a part of like Chris Cantwell and Richard Spencer and all them. I'm sorry. I I didn't want to be in that crew. Um, And one of the big reasons, and I've talked about this before is, you know, race is really important, but it's not everything. It's not nothing. And I'm a Christian. I put, you know, God first and, you know, race is very important, but it's not more important than God. So that's sort of my view on that. Um, I mean, I think we're getting caught up in the weeds a little bit too, with all the terminology, Dude, I did not stop saying white people are under attack. I did not turn into some liberal. I was not like disavowing Trump and and that sort of thing. I still hung out with Nick Fuentes and my same crowd, you know, regardless of what you think about him. I I was still a right wing person. It wasn't that it was just me trying to differentiate like, hey, I'm not a Chris Cantwell. I'm not some guy that's, you know, begging for a race war, trying to kill people or whatever, like. And sometimes, like I, dude, like I said, I said that in the fucking worst way possible. If I, like, I cringe anytime I see that video, bro. And so, like, yeah, I'll say I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. And I'm also sorry if I let anyone down because I know there's a lot of people that are pro-white that would look up to me in the past. And, like, if they felt that, you know, I was disavowing them, that's definitely not what I was doing. But, you know, I do apologize for that because I, I don't want people to feel that way. We're on the same team as far as that goes. I'm going to stand up for white people till I die, straight up. So even if we don't see eye to eye on everything, so, you know, hopefully that's, um, you know, substantial there. Okay, well, thank you for that. I just I did just have one last question, genuine question, or if that's cool. Sure. Right? Yep, yep, go ahead. Okay. Actually, I, okay, I, I don't. I don't want to like sing dishonest. I actually had two quick questions. Oh my god! One, they're super quick. Though. Okay, super quick. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Firstly, go ahead. Um, you, you know, your side. May, maybe you do it less than other people. I, I actually think that is the case. But your side is very big on this, you know, wignet divide, and it's all because we're bad optics and going to make bad life decisions, and you're getting in trouble mm. hanging out with us, right? But um, I do remember very recently you were on the phone with Alice on your stream and you called her uh, the K-bomb and you said, I'm going to fuck you up, bitch. Um, <laughs> that was, that, yeah, yeah like, that was true. That's, that's weak nattery on a left. Are you on, telling me, are you on, wait, wait, wait. bad optics, Dingo? What do you joke. think of Ashton going full or in Southern centrist and saying she was in a cop? Was know. she ever on board? Was she a grifter or was it because the gig uh, was bad for her? I mean, yeah. well, if you're looking for like, sympathy for that liar here, Dingo, you came to the wrong place. <laughs> I got news for you. Uh, but anyway, uh, go go ahead, uh, Baked. You can answer. Uh, well, I, th- I think Ashton is a grifter. I, I wasn't I was talking you- about her, by the way. I was talking about no. who Dingo was talking about. But that's no, another not, story. What are you talking about? Anyway. I, I, uh, I thought that I was the super chat. About, Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Bro, go ahead. I, but I, I, I wish her the best. Mean. Go ahead. Sorry. What did you say, Dingo? What was the last Repeat thing? Repeat what you said, Dingo. No, I, yeah, I don't know who you're referencing, Ralph. I, I wasn't referencing anybody. Okay. I don't even know. I don't even know either. Um, but I guess you called him a bad name, whoever he was talking about. Oh, oh no, no, no. Okay, so I was oh, saying, that, I was I'm saying. Um, I'm not, no, I'm so you think I'm? Bitch, you think I'm bad? Do you don't even remember what I'm you talking about, Dingo. Yes, yeah, sir. No, I do. I, I said I'm not defending that dumb bitch. Like I'm not at all. <laughs> I'm not like, okay. The well, words I mean, I, I listen, bad. listen, dude. I I have been probably the most reasonable in my estimation with Wignat type people on the America First side. I'm not going to just completely write someone off cuz maybe they fall more on that side. But there is a there is a line for me. If people are fucking, you know, like posting swastikas every 2 seconds and Heil Hitlering or whatever, I think that's retarded, bro. We're not Germany, dude. We're not we're America, you know, that, that shit's in the past. Like that's, it, that, that's not going to do 
am I able to look at history and be like, yeah, Hitler did some awesome things. Fuck. Yeah. And you know, right wing watch would probably clip that. I don't give a fuck, but, clip it, clip it. <laughs> but the point, the point is it's like, that's the past. And like, that's not who we are. We're Americans. And you know, it, people are only going to use that to discredit us and be like, look, they're neo-Nazis or whatever, which, which that's not who we are. Um, so I, I just think, you know, we need to be strategic and careful. Like, yeah, we support like free speech and all that. And, and we have our views, but like, you gotta, you gotta look good. You gotta sound good. And, and look, I, I'm not the same as Nick. I'm not some fucking politician. I'm not trying to run for office or anything like that. I do IRL streams. I, I do edgy jokes. Yeah. Like I'm just, I was kidding when I'm talking to Alice, I, I don't hate anybody, but yeah. So, I mean, I take, I give everyone the benefit of the doubt. I don't care what circle they fall in. If they're cool, if they're chill, if they're, you know, tolerable, then I give them, I give them a chance. I'll take your answer all fair to the very last question. Ernest question. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, if you want people to understand why you did the whole video disavowing thing or whatever, you want people mm -hmm. to essentially forgive you. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, do you think that you could forgive someone who did a whole lot less less, you know, wrong to a uh, movement, the culture war criminal. I don't think he wronged you guys nearly as bad as you wronged us with that. Could you forgive him? I'll yeah, I, I, yeah, absolutely. You, um, well, Thank I you. was telling, I was telling Ralph, look, I don't see eye to eye with the guy, obviously, but I did, I did reach out to him yesterday and I said, Hey man, I didn't report you. I didn't tell anyone to report you. And someone did post something in my chat and I removed them as a mod. I removed them from my chat. I'm sorry about that. And I wouldn't report you. And he was like, okay, thanks, man. So I, I did reach out. Um, I'm, I'm, will, I'm willing to squash it with anyone. Uh, the only problem with CWC, though, is he's currently actively uh, engaged in doxing people. He's releasing. He just doxed Paul Gosar's intern, who, who's a groiper, which I think is really fucking not cool. And he's putting out private group chats. So, like I said, I can, I can squash it with anyone, but he's sort of actively doing some really shady shit. And I don't really want to be a part of that. But I did reach out to him and let him know, like, I'm not... Uh, I wish him the best. I'm not reporting him or anything. Well, it seems like he's just running with the narrative, let's be honest. Uh, and again, you know, you hope that's not true, but um, it seems, you know what I mean? Like, he's wanting yeah. to run with that story, right? Whether it's true or not. Uh, and honestly, I thought, you know, you couldn't sound more reasonable than you did just there with Dingo, uh, mm -hmm. right? With what you were saying about the video uh, mm -hmm. and your thoughts on it. I, I mean, I really don't know. That's why. And again, I yeah. like Dingo, well, obviously. We, but we covered it. We covered like, it. What else can you maybe say, a really? A few years ago. Yeah, on, you on your talked show. about it before. Yeah, you've talked about it on here before, mm -hmm. even. Yeah. Uh, and you said well, a lot of the same things. Well, when you were in person in LA, yeah, you talked about it. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And a lot of those same things. And it's like. Um, I don't know. I think it even sounded more eloquent now, though, right? Like, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. removed, and you had time to think about it, and it's like, well, you know, that's a pretty good answer, I think. Uh, and so at a certain point, well, what else could you. you really say about it, right? Like, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, now, there's some more Super Chats. Got a couple more callers, and I'll let you get out of here. Uh, let right. me see Thank here. you, Bingo. Yeah, thanks, Dingo. I appreciate that, and I'm glad he that got was, in. That was a good call. Yeah, I thought so, too. Uh, yeah, like, I, uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. People, people can bring anything at me. I'm, I'm an open book. I love it, so that's fun. All right, let's see here. Giga Ninja, go ahead. Oh. Giga Ninja sent $3. Why did you and Chagat break up? Fuck swat. <laughs> oh, man. They shall be um, did you see what happened in Dallas, by the way, with Chagat? <laughs> Dude, great, yeah, great job <laughs> macing him. You, you <laughs> fucked him up. That was, that was hilarious. <laughs> Do you forgive that him now? Good. That was part of he wanted you to forgive him. I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I could look maybe I, I, I maybe. Yeah. I mean, you saw the whole thing. It, it, it was, I don't know why he had to tell that story. Cause I don't that either. was the only thing like, he's the one I, I, I didn't say that story. He's the one who told everyone, <laughs> Hey, I, when I was 18, something happened when someone was 13. Then I mean, the comment he made where he goes, <laughs> Oh, she was no baby. When I was like, oh, like what the fuck dude? Like, don't, no. don't say that. Cause that's disgusting. And so it's just, well, it wasn't it's like, just, oh, I made a mistake, or you know what I mean. Like, there's there's two different <laughs> no, ways to yeah, tell that he was story. Justified. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? So, I mean, like, what? 
<laughs> I'll ask, like, did you forgive him? Like, where are you cool with him? Like, well, like, we, you know, he. Thing? So again, that was his penance uh, he wanted to do <laughs> down there in Dallas, uh, and you know, he was checking. Some, he's okay. You know, he's got a right. Like, I, I know he's he's easily hated or whatever. And I'm not co-signing mm-hmm. what he did, obviously. Um, yeah. But he was, you know, he was no problem, right? He was he was kind of he's a he's a He's a character. Like, he'll start talking about Richard Spencer and white nationalism just randomly, <laughs> like, in yeah. the middle of a restaurant or something. And I'm like, dude, uh-huh. okay. Like, <laughs> somebody might actually know what you're talking about here. Like, and well, I don't want to have to. That's why I initially didn't want to hang out with him because he wouldn't yeah, fucking shut up about all. Like, do you out want to public. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I'm like, shut up, dude. I'm hanging out on a Saturday. I don't want to fucking talk about TRS. I don't give a fuck. Literally out in public, he'll just <laughs> drop that shit and start going. And mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, can we? He, dude, know, he's a hard. He's a hard dude to deal with, like straight up. I mean, I'll, I'll he's say got this. better I though. Could, he was okay. I don't, I don't approve of what he did, absolutely. But you know, as a Christian, I'm called to forgive everybody. I, I you know, I could see maybe like you know us collabing at an event together or something. You know, I don't, I don't want to live with the guy or anything. But yeah, we, you know, we, you might. I guess I would be down to stream with him again if he was down. You know, and we kind of talk things out, but. That's well, that's good. I think that. he, I think he would like to hear that. And you know, again, uh, like I said, he was a net benefit down in Dallas, and he was pretty cool even outside of the, uh, the stuff you saw on camera. We hung out with him a little bit, uh, and he he wasn't too bad. I kind of I've, he's kind of growing on me uh, a little bit. Chaggett, uh is, and so he was pretty <laughs> fun down in Dallas. Uh, he's high energy for yeah, sure. I'll give him that. Yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't have any more stories to share. I don't think he does. <laughs> yeah. uh, in that manner. I have to revise my already <laughs> revised opinion, but uh, anyway, uh, go ahead, caller. Can you hear me, Doc Holiday? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Hey, what's up, Doc? Okay, so uh, I think. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, so there's one piece of this puzzle of the recent swattings that you know I just thought about. Sure. Are you there? Damn, our means. Oh wait, you cut out for a sec. Hold up, you cut out for a sec. Wait, 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 wait. You cut out for a sec. Go ahead, you're back now. I don't know if that was my internet or yours or what, but anyway, just go back, step back a little bit, and then keep going. Sir, can you hear me? No, I think I think it was mine. Okay, it was yours. How about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, it was like all of a sudden you said, "Oh, I have some information about the swatting," and then it cut out. I was like, "Oh fuck, Masab." Yeah, dude, somebody fucking (laughs) got him. No, I I want to throw out a speculation here. (laughs) So, who has the means and reasoning to do this? There's one person that you would never suspect. Chaggett. Let's think about this now, okay? Let's now, wait this. a minute. It, it, he does not have the means and resources when, to do this. When, so, so son of a senator, right? State power, finances to do it, to get away with it all. And what start, when did it start? After he got maced. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I, I was, was, I was getting there, swatted way before he got maced. <laughs> but when did Sorry. it really, really kick up, I think, it was after. No, no, no. I got <laughs> swatted like... 10 times in a row, like but way before, like a month ago uh, or, or okay. earlier. I like your theory, though. It's like the Jar Jar Binks <laughs> yeah, like, theory or whatever. He, 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 literally, yeah, exactly. He, 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 like Shaggy yeah. goes it's back to his place yeah, and it's just like, so. like the whole <laughs> act is gone and yeah. he's got like a fucking command center yeah. and he's just like calling and shit. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a great plot to a movie, but yeah. I don't think that's real. Like, like all the fucked up shit happening to all the streamers is like fucking Shaggy like pulling strings and shit. He's like in a fucking villain suit. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, and he gets He's like only pretending to have the answer. It's an idea. Okay. I mean, like, since we're talking about (laughs) theories, like, I would just think about like, look at the people who are not getting swatted, and look at like who would have something to gain from this. Who really hates it? You know, I'm not. I'm not saying any names here, but I'm just. You know, it's uh, mm -hmm. it's interesting to think about. Yeah, Yeah, I've had a long think on it myself. Thank you, Doc Holiday. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, Ralph. All right, now we have one more caller, but let me wrap up the Super Chats first uh, and make sure I didn't miss any. Let's see here. Oh, wait, is this really Chaggett? Oh, whoa, Chaggett's dropping in. Hold up. Yo. Why don't you call in, man? <laughs> what the fuck? 
I don't know. Well, maybe we should. Maybe we should ruin it. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like it's in a good spot now. I'm afraid you might. Yeah, it's, it's, everything's in a good spot. Right. Chagat sent three dollars. I never justified it. All what right, I said see. is that I am not a pedophile or a child molester. That Here was almost the point because that is what people were calling me. I never said what I did is good. It's not. No, he's clarifying. I mean, hey, look, I'm pretty sure he actually did. I'm not. I'm not trying to fight, but you go watch the vod. Like, well, remember? Because remember when we were interviewing people, and he's like asking people, like, wait, wait, do you here. think this was wrong? I, and, yeah. I was mentally no, eighteen. Blah, blah, blah. He came off that way. It was a but mistake. But I, I don't really care to rehash that. To be honest, people calling me things worse than a murderer. I think that's understandable. All right, now. All was right. he lying then or is he lying now? No, well. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't, I don't want to rehash that. No, I we're don't. in a good spot. We don't need to. Come on, Chad. Yeah. The, the Macy went a long way. Don't ruin it. He's getting into don't the weeds again. It. He could have just. You're ruining it. Just keep it at a nice place, right? All right. Uh, the, see, that's what I worry about with him. Just, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, uh, it's he's got autism. Keep, he's got to keep going a little bit. Corbin sent $20. Really have never heard a one-on-one -on -one interview with Bait like this. Way cooler than how the haters portray him. Had no hey, idea thank you. he was so involved in power chat. Very based. Thank you, Corbin. Yeah, I feel like a lot wow, of people don't know nice. that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, Bakes. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, you know what? I think that's true. A lot of times, you know, I know you've done other interviews and stuff too, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, you, they might not be featured or whatever, uh, and people mm -hmm. just take a clip of you yelling at so-and-so like he's talking about, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. oh, Bakes is wild dude. <laughs> when I was actually really impressed with your answer to Dingo, which is why I said yeah. that, because I was like, Thank wow, you. that was a really thoughtful answer. I really can't see. I mean, unless it's just like I'm gonna hate bake no matter what, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna let any alternate take get in there. I don't really see how people could see that and not say, "Oh, you know what? I'm, you know, I might not like this guy normally or whatever." But that was kind of a thoughtful take, you know, a thoughtful uh, reflection on on an event in your life that people try to use negatively against you, basically to this day. Yeah, well, I, I feel like some people, you know, they just hate me no matter what, no matter what I say. I could, I could, you know, save an old lady crossing the street yeah. or whatever, and they're like, "Bake does he?" You know, it's just like if people are gonna look through that lens, they're they're just gonna do that. But I don't know. I I, I gotta you know just stay positive and keep moving forward. And I I do truly think that if someone spends some actual time with me or they sit down with me and it's like genuine and you know they actually hear me out, not just you know trying to fuck me over. I, I think they will realize I'm a good dude. I got a good heart. You know, I say it like it is. Um, do I get wild on some IRL streams sometimes? Yeah, I do. But, you know, it's entertainment. It's like I'm very different just in person than when I'm, you know, going wild on the street at, at night. Um, you know, it's entertainment. So, yeah, but I, I do I do appreciate that. Also, you know, like I've been in this business for a while, you know, like I was talking to Ralph a while ago. Like, you know, we're kind of OGs in this whole thing a little bit. So, yeah, sure. I've I've learned to sort of like, you know, I've made some really bad mistakes and learned to humble myself and try to get along with people. Um, yeah. So thank you, though. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. And you know what? That's true. And I don't really think about it until sometimes I'll, you know, one of these younger streamers or whatever will message me or something. Or they'll say something <laughs> like, oh, I used to watch this years ago. Like, I literally, yeah. what was it? I think it was Dalton or somebody's like, yeah, I was watching this. And I was like, oh, yeah, when you were in like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, ninth yeah. grade or whatever. Then it, like, sometimes literally, I don't know about in his case, he's a little bit older than that, I think. But, uh, you know what I mean? Where they're like, yeah, I was listening to you in high school and stuff. I was like, oh, fuck. Um, so it is kind of funny. Uh, and I don't really think about it normally, but yeah, we're, we're kind of uh, OGs in the game at this point. Uh, all right, now let me try to speed through some of these. Go ahead, Kobe. Covey Killer sent three dollars. All, all praise due to the great Dingo. All the praise. Dingo Dingo <laughs> Dingo is a great asset to kill stream. All Welcome back, Dingo. Dingo. Ate your baby where you been? Dingo. All praise to the great Dingo. I'm sure he'll probably say that. One. All right. Q O O percent three dollars. Isn't there something in the Thalmud talking like? If, in the slightest chance, there would be opposition to the JWO, it must be one of them. <laughs> Baked. You're Jewish. I don't think I forgive you. <laughs> it is um, the black sorry, I, the I am not, of the Jews. not Jewish. Tax squeeze. Maybe if the ADL would believe that, they would stop fucking with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell, the, tell that to the ADL, yeah. please. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, oh, it was maybe Chagat. Go ahead. 
something that Maybe is Chag had sent three dollars. It's an important point that you both need Chag to understand when talking about this. You know what, Chag? Am I just? Do you want me to call you or what? Because you're like now it's getting to the point where it's like, all right, you're starting. To, like maybe we need to clarify this. We were saying positive things about you. Yeah. Like that was a pro Chag segment. Believe it or not, I was like, wow, we had fun in mm-hmm. Dallas. You know, maybe we could do something in the future. Even Baked was like, oh, I expected yeah. you to. I kind of expected you to say fuck Chag. <laughs> Honestly, but you know what? It's another one of those thoughtful segments, like where you're like, nah, you know what? Maybe it's time to forgive. And hey, then I'm we're in getting good into mood the weeds. Today. You caught yeah, me in a good mood, right? so let, let's keep it there. But he's taking it to the weeds again. It's like, okay, <laughs> let's just not do that. We don't need to do the. Uh, I don't want to use the term blow by blow. Maybe that's not the right phrase. But, uh, all right, chaos. Go we ahead. We love you, Chaggy. We, we love, love you. you. Right? It was positive. It was all yeah. positivity. It was all love. All right, now. Why is this not playing? There it goes. Okay. Chaos Acolyte sent three dollars. The final kill stream episode ends. Every other streamer has already been banned. Chaggot Gimp walks down the street around the corner. Staring at the cork board, I've dropped my coffee mug and it shatters on the floor. Chaggot is keys are so sad. <laughs> Dude, it's all finally starting to make sense. You know what? <laughs> this whole timeline, none of it made sense until now. It's so bizarre. All right, a couple more. Wally, go ahead. I think we got one more caller too. Wally sent $3. I'm not the speculating type, but I were. I might be speculating on someone with an uncanny resemblance to Martin Prince from The Simpsons who hangs out with a couch-dwelling cokehead. Oh, well, I think I know who you might be talking about there. Uh, I want to speculate. Oh, we got this one. It came in Chaos twice, though. Sent you know what? I'll just let it play again because it was too good. Ends. Every other streamer has already Thank been Thank you, Chaos. Banned. Chaggot Gimp walks down the Shaggy street around the, the corner. Walk. <laughs> Staring at the corkboard, I dropped my coffee mug and it shatters on the floor. Mm. Chaggot. We should have. Keys are so safe. <laughs> we should have seen it coming. <laughs> we should have seen it coming. All right, last caller. I hope it's a. I hope it's positivity. I hope it's love. Is it love? Toasted Network, go ahead. Oh, we we want to end it on a bountiful, <laughs> bountiful positive note. Please. Come on, What's positive up? notes only. And then you know what? Silence is better than bullshit. I have to say at least. But <laughs> um, toasted, are you there? Are you there? Uh oh. No, but I heard something. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm still there. Still there. Yeah, hey, but I'm just up, like toasted? wondering is like you say you don't like the infighting with the wig nets and the. Uh, what do they call again? And the uh, AF, but didn't AF originate from infighting with the conservatives, with like Charlie Cook and stuff like that? I'm wondering is now wait. AF doesn't seem to. Never- well, I, I mean, well, I'll like, say, to, well, I'll let Baked sorry. answer this, but I mean, I would say, you know, fighting with um, talking, you know, not talking points, memo, but uh, talking points USA, whatever the fuck they're, <laughs> what is their name? Turning point USA. Sorry, yeah. I was using the meme name. Um, I would say that's kind of different than fighting with somebody in your, you know what I mean? Like on the, un- I won't say underground, but you know what I mean? Like <clears throat> um, in, in dissident circles, right? Uh, yeah, so I'll answer that. Uh, and thank you, Tosa, for the question. Um, yeah, so like, that definitely is how AF was kind of born because, and I was talking to Dingo about this, you know, there wasn't sort of a middle ground before. It was like, you're either like with Richard Spencer or you're like a fucking conservative with Charlie Kirk or whatever. And so like AF was sort of this like middle ground, I guess, where it's like, okay, we're pro-white. We call out, you know, certain globalists and all that shit. You know, we, we say the truth. You know, but we're not we're not on some like Richard Richard Spencer type shit, but we're also not like, you know, we're we're not down with supporting Israel and Charlie Kirk and all that. So yeah, AF was born definitely by criticizing um, you know, Charlie Kirk, the turning point USA and a new um, you know, faction was born, I guess. So there there's nothing wrong with um, I wouldn't call that infighting because we're not like we're not on the same team in that regard. Aside from like, oh, we vote for Trump, um, but yeah, and we're calling them to be true conservatives. So they say, oh, we're conservatives, and then they have faggots and trannies, you know, Caitlyn Jenner and all that shit at their uh, events, Lady Maga, and so yeah, we call that out. We're like, that's not really conservative, you know, that's not really traditional and all that. So yeah, uh, that's different, uh, very very different. Um, but hey, like. I mean, you also see if there's people on that aisle that 
you know, will like, what is it? Uh, Marjorie Taylor green or whatever, you know, she has spoken at turning point or Paul Gosar, but then if they, uh, you know, g- give us a little bit of help, then we're grateful sure. for that. So we are, you know, we do look for allies, uh, where we could get them as long as it aligns with our values. But yeah, I, I don't think that's a bad thing to criticize, uh, conservatives or like TP USA people. Well, one thing I just don't get is why don't you guys ever, like, they have Planned Parenthood rallies. They have, like, woke rallies around the country. Why don't you ever, like, gripe, like, Planned Parenthood or, like, those people specifically? Oh, it seems to only I, be against, like, Ben Shapiro and conservatives, if that makes sense. Sure. Okay, well, I mean, first of all, we do. Like, I've, on my stream alone, I've trolled BLM rallies. I've trolled all sorts of liberal shit. Um <laughs> But I think, you know, AF in general, and I don't want to speak for everyone, but um, I think those conservatives are basically our biggest enemy, the GOP, because they're, they're, we're supposed to be the alternative voice to the left. And they're the ones gatekeeping and basically cock blocking, not allowing us to say the things that need to be said. Um, and it's all, you know, it's basically, you know, controlled opposition on the GOP side. So we have to get them out the fuck out of the way so that we can actually have a seat at the table versus the left. If, if that makes sense, that's how I see it. I mean, would you guys like if Ben Shapiro wanted to be part of your movement says he disagrees with some of the stuff you say, but he says, I want to get rid of the, the left. And I agree with you enough on the issues that I'm willing to put an olive branch to your position. Would you guys accept him? Because at the end of the day, is there any difference between Ben Shapiro and Donald Trump? I mean, Donald Trump, for all I'm saying, is like he has. Some oh yeah, there, there's a big difference between Ben Shapiro and Donald Trump. What do you mean? I mean, Donald Trump. There's a had there's, his a, daughter there's marrying a big the difference Jew. I That's can think of right big... off the bat. How did you know I was negotiating with Daily Wire? That wasn't supposed to be public knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, well, were, I mean, first of all, Ben Shapiro is very Jewish and Donald Trump's not. I know they both support Israel, but um, I, I, I mean, you're asking a hypothetical that would never fucking happen. So there's not really a point. But sure, I guess I guess if Ben Shapiro is like, you know, the Jews control the media. Can I be on your <laughs> side? I'd be like, OK, sure. Like, but that's not going to happen. Mean, Laura Loomer is also pretty Jewish, Jewish, and you guys have her in the movement. I mean, she's a Jewish Zionist. I mean, why yeah, do you have you, her in you, the you can have allies. You know, we totally don't agree on the Israel question, but you can be pragmatic with people. Uh, you know, Laura Loomer kills it on the censorship question. Like, she's, like, out there. She's, like, an attack dog, you know, going into uh, Congress and, and all that shit. So, yeah, she, she's a very useful ally for sure. I mean, she's also like, if she's Jewish, she denies Jesus, right? So, I mean, how is she different than Ben in that aspect? Well, yeah, like I said, we don't agree on the religion. We don't agree on the support of Israel. But uh, being pragmatic, we agree on the censorship issue, which is, you know, she's defended me. She's defended Nick. uh, So, you know, we see that as a good asset. Yeah, I mean, and just a couple, two more. They're quick. Don't worry. But one thing is. Uh, Elijah Schaefer was able to avoid getting it going to prison for January 6th by saying he was part of doing journalism. Why oh, don't you boy. say the same thing? Because your streaming could be considered journalism. You could say, I was looking into the Capitol. And, you I know, think he did say that. Point of- oh, no, I, yeah, no, I, I did say that. But, like, I think you're like, what, 18 or something, 17 or something. And it's like, no, no disrespect, but you don't really understand how the courts work. Like, of course, I've said that from day one. I, I have, uh, you know, press credentials in the state of Arizona at the time for, uh, you know, covering press events for political press events. So, but it doesn't matter, dude, because Taylor Hansen and Elijah Schaefer were in there. They were filming and, you know, one was the blaze. One was just his own thing and they didn't get arrested. I don't think they're feds or anything like that. It's just... So many people got caught up in this net and, you know, some people kind of got some, lucky, had good lawyers or right. whatever. Um, but yeah. no, I, I have used that excuse. They just don't give a fuck. 
and again, you know, some of these people I don't like, but it's not about calling them feds. It's about some people just got a better deal, right? You know what I mean? Like they yeah, just got preferential exactly, treatment yeah. kind of, or they had a better, you know, certain people well, had I, press I, I, passes I, I or heard, whatever. You know, and I, shit like I, I'm that. pretty sure this was public, but I, I'm pretty sure like Glenn Beck, like his attorney had to like specifically reach out to like make sure he didn't get arrested or yeah. something like that. You know, there, there was some. Well, it was curious. I got to say, cause I remember you look, and again, I, I don't like the guy. I think that's known, but I'm not mm. even trying to, I don't want to see anything happen to him from January right. 6th, to be clear. Uh, yeah. And so taking all the animosity off the table. That being said, uh, I, I know there were some tweets that day. Like he had his, I don't know if it was his feet up on Pelosi's desk or, I don't think he did no, that he, fully. He took a, no, he so, took well, a shot. You had your feet. That's, that's another reason why, like, when people call me a fed, I'm like, dude. He did and that once, on Twitter. Once again, I, I yeah. don't want Elijah Schaefer to get prosecuted. No, I don't all. either. No, but, not at all. But just ask the question. He literally tweeted a photo yeah. of Nancy Pelosi's open computer. That right. is a fucking crime. I'm sorry. That's a crime. And that's based I on their standard. Yeah, based on their standard. Again, I don't want it to happen. I'm not saying it should have happened. But mm. it's just like, just look at, you know. How how the ball bounced for certain people and how it did for others, right? Uh, that's yeah. all I'm saying. I'm not I'm not even trying to put him in it. I'm just saying there's there's a there's other stories like that too, right? Where yeah. somebody may have you know stepped foot on the Capitol and now they're trying to say they're a part of it, whereas this other person who was there wasn't. And you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like there's different. They're using different fucking metrics for every di person, right? Like I, I don't know. Yeah. It's just and really there's crazy. Also a how ton of judges like people don't yeah. understand that they're like, oh, this guy just got let you know let go. You should. Fight fight it in trial and i'm like dude i would if, if you could guarantee me i get mcfadden that same judge i 100 percent would fight it but it's like there there's you just get a random pick of the litter and you yeah. can get an activist judge that's like no you're getting all the maximum right. sentences you're going away for three years and it's like i don't want to gamble my life on that you know well yeah and and it's uh you know Usually you you lose in federal court. I don't know if that's a spoiler oh, yeah. alert. No, they but they, it's, they have uh, like, like a I, I want to say like a ninety yes, percent win rate. They do. It's, it's pretty pretty bad. It's pretty scary, dude. Uh, and mm -hmm. a lot of juries, you know, it's supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. In reality, that's not how people think, <laughs> believe it or not. And yeah, they've already seen all that. Like yeah, well, back in the day, they could sequester and all that, but like. They're, they're watching all the footage on their yeah. phones. Like, come on. Dude, and you know what? A lot of people, unfortunately, are biased towards the state. And so they're like, well, if this guy's mm -hmm. up here, he must have did something. They must have a good exactly. reason to have him. You know what I mean? Like, that's how a lot of fucking simps just think by nature, yep. right? Like, they're just mm -hmm. trained to be like that. It's not even, it's unfortunate, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not even a partisan thing. It's just biased towards the state. Uh, it could be left or right. Uh, all right, let me run through these. Maybe Chaggett says this. <laughs> Oh, he appreciates the positivity. Maybe Chagat sent three dollars. Right, I appreciate the positivity. Just right, wanted to clarify because everybody misses that point. I hope you enjoyed the Mason because I know I deserve <laughs> it. <laughs> hey, thank you, Chagat. Yeah, that was funny. Anonymous sent ten dollars. Ask Bait why he oh, gave God. private AF chats to the FBI. <sighs> we asked. <him. laughs> hey, wait. Well, I'll, I'll answer that question with sure. another question. Sure. Show me the proof, motherfucker, because that literally never happened. Yeah, I've not uh, seen anything <laughs> in that regard. Please, no, it doesn't exist. So please, please, I will give you one million dollars if you if you show me proof. Milo oh, is a my. snitch involved in AF. You are free and others not. Did you snitch? Sent three no, three no, dollars. I didn't. Okay, so once again, and, and this is a common criticism, they say you are free while others aren't. Right. So okay, so going to solitary confinement for a week, having an ankle monitor on my leg for 120 days, still being in a trial a fucking year and a half later, how is that free exactly? Yeah, and, and again, <laughs> what the fuck? And again, I'll let it play. I was just trying to stop it so you could talk because it, it. Oh came yeah, in, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, it came in while you were talking there. Let me get these first. We'll come back around. Wally sent three dollars. Wow. Also, all this wholesome forgiveness really isn't on brand. That's true, boss. Somebody throw a chair That's shot. True. It's too nice tonight. All right. <laughs> Maybe Chag. Maybe Chag had sent three dollars. Trashing Charlie Kirk and Prageru is not infighting. People who lie about race are trash. All right. Anonymous. True. Anonymous sent $3. There was a big difference between Shapiro and Trump in 2016, but Trump ended up having an extremely Jewish presidency, Kushner and Ivanka and all the neocons he let in his admin, and in 2020 B. Shapiro voted Trump. Would he do that in 2020 but not 2016? 
Hey, you're preaching to the choir as far as that goes. Um, yeah, it's true. Oh, I agree. Real Kaggett sent $3 CWC is now associating with that Jabba the Hutt disgusting faggot PPP. What the fuck? How low can you sink, bro? <laughs> God of Conquest 91 sent $3 baked plus Ralph equals based. Thank you, sir. I let's appreciate go. that. Hell I actually yeah. think this has been a pretty fun show tonight. Uh, Very fun. All right, now let's see. Uh, I think we got them all. Um, I'm just making sure. Oh, wait, AF Ohio Patriot. Oh, and one about Dugan, too. Hold on. AF Ohio Patriot sent $3. Make Ohio great again. Please unban me, Bates. <laughs> Stay safe. I got you, bro. I got you. Make Ohio great again. AF Ohio Patriots sent $3. People that swat others should be lined up and shot. Please unban me. (laughs) I agree. I don't disagree with that either. Can you get Dugan on Ralph's show? How many of you siblings are Russian? Now, this is what... (laughs) What's going on with that? Um, I don't, I'm sorry. I do not know Dugan. They so said um, you knew Dugan. Never this met is, the guy. This I is going to meme in chat that you knew Dugan. Six, well, I have six adopted siblings and five sisters from Russia. That is true. Wow. So, and do you speak Russian? They said, so first off, they said you knew uh, Dugan and you speak Russian. Я говорю по-русски, да, это правда. Wow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, right. I mean, I, I am a Russian spy. You guys got me. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I actually lived in Russia for a year and a half growing up. It's the uh, Petropavlovsk Kamchatka. It's the area of Russia right next to Alaska. Wow. That's pretty so, fucking cool. And honestly, I didn't know that until recently. Uh, and people yeah. in chat were telling me. And then it was like, oh, I, it seems like I did hear you mention it before. You know what I mean? Like, it was one of those things yeah. like, yeah, so it does my seem parents, like I My parents are Christian missionaries. And so we would go to orphanages and, like, give medical supplies and do, like, Bible lessons and stuff for the orphans. So... Yeah, and then we adopted, like, five Russian girls. Wow, this is, like, the most wholesome. I think this might be the most wholesome kill stream ever. Oh, yeah. with that ending there. By the way, thank you for spending some time with us tonight. I kept you for, like, over an hour and a half at this point. Dude, so this was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, I'll let's do it again. again. That's what I say. We'll have to do it sooner this time because I yeah. had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, we took all callers. We even had hostile super chats. I thought it was great I all the way it. around. I love it. Uh, love the energy. Tell people where they can find you and what you're working on recently, yep. and et cetera. Uh... <laughs> Wait, hold up one second. Sure. Thank you. Sorry, I had a super chat come through on my end. Um, Yo, you guys can find me um, cozy.tv slash baked Alaska. And then also um, t.me slash baked Alaska is my telegram. That's where I announce everything. Uh, Thank you again for having me on, Ralph. This This was really fun. Like, no bullshit. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad we could, you know, smooth some things out. I, I love all the I, I love the hard questions too. You know, I'm I'm glad that you didn't just throw softballs. I got some good ones. We got some hard questions. We gotta we gotta talk about it all. So I think uh, you know people look can look forward to me and you collabing probably this summer and do something big. So it'll be a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, I hope to come back soon. One hundred percent. Thank you for those kind words, and I want to say uh, I'm glad too that me and you, uh, you know, over the last few years, smooth things over. Uh, I would can definitely consider you a friend. Uh, yeah, just definitely. a lot of feedback here and there, both ways. Uh, you know, little notations or help with this or help with that. Mm-hmm. And you've been great. Yeah. Uh, I just say that publicly here. Back to Alaska, great guy. Thank you for coming on tonight. Yeah, and we're too. gonna work together this summer, and we'll see you again before. Then. Absolutely. All uh, right. Thanks so much, man. Take have care. Good, have a good night. You too. Back to Alaska, go follow him. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.